Everybody, it's Alf from Boston. Uh, let's take a look at the plaintiff's opening uh, brief in support of the settlement awarding of attorney fees and expenses and incentive awards. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that's going on on the internet right now. That way you'll see what it is. Um, this is uh, interesting stuff. This entire document is just riddled. Um, I want to just show you exactly what it is, what we're talking about. These are the glossary things, uh, you know, that city, DF King, Franchi, Merriweather, uh, reverse split, blah, blah, blah. That settlement, Van Zant. that's a city guy. Let's take a look. <clears throat> this action rose because the board and the senior management of AMC combined a pension for clever financial engineering with a disregard for their fiduciary duties enforcing through amendments to AMC certificate without achieving voting uh, support of majority AMC stockholders ascending shares. Good fiduciaries have a clear way, a clear way of respect shareholder franchise rights and achieve their goals of, of enticing shareholder approval without persuasive arguments and valuable consideration of supporting the recommendation. Defendants weaponize their legal power to issue blank check preferred stock and massively dilute their common stockholders. Plaintiffs hope that unless companies facing eminent bankruptcy must take ra radical action to save their companies, no com no public board ever again engages in such a heavy-handed and improper abuse of power. All right? It's worse. While AMC's post-COVID futures appear viable, the company must still pay off about $5 billion in debt. Within the interest rates now, far higher when AMC issued the debt, AMC's business still operating at a cash flow deficit. Its refinancing options are limited. They're out of the debt, they're out of the debt market. In 2021, we can't, uh, AMC started exploring ways to use blank check preferred stocks under AMC certificate, uh, certificate to raise capital. Citigroup conceived a way of wep to weaponize the board's legal power to issue blank check preferred stock with voting power amounting to 100 times that of common stock to override stockholders' voting rights in a manner that could not meet equitable components of the twice-tested maxim of fiduciary conduct. 100 million shares of 100 vote per share equity preferred stock to its transfer agent. The board also created 1 billion AMC APE units, each reflecting 1 100th interest in the preferred stock, approved an early 2022 dividend of 1 8 uh, of each roughly 517 shares of then outstanding common stock, the financial trickery came in the form of the apes mirror voting. 87% mm, voted yes, huh? Right? Is that what you thought? No, that's not what happened. The use was called mirror voting. AMC instructed its transfer agent that in connection with any stockholder vote, the agent must vote apes beneficially held by investors who did not provide voting instructions on a mirrored basis. Wow. As AP units voted pursuant to instructions. Just 3% voted against the transfer agent would have mirror vote, such as that 7% of all apes favored and 30% opposed. Oh, 70-30 now. And this is all rigged, the 70 rigged, regardless of the fact the holders of 90% of apes did not provide voting instructions. At the time the dividend was distributed, management and AMC advisors purportedly expected apes to trade close to parity with common stock. Unfortunately, in light of forced index fund selling, uh, apes the apes did not trade as well as expected, making them unattractive financing option, which was City's entire point. They suckered the old man, or unless the old man was in on it, uh, and look what happened. Rather than look for an, an appropriate alternate way to raise capital, AMC management affected a scheme to forcibly converge apes with common stock, manipulating apes mirror voting and buying votes from his chosen hedge fund, Antara, in a manner that would give apes a massive windfall at the expense of common shareholders. In short, AMC sold almost 30% of their outstanding apes to Antara on an average price of 66 cents per unit. With mirror voting, Antara blocks of apes would carry nearly dispositive weight. Hmm. Antara contractually agreed to vote its apes in favor of proposals for the common stockholders would rationally oppose unless they received a separate benefit. Wow. Galati, what a smart guy. What a smart guy. Galati just, you know, mm. specifically on Tara agreed to vote at AMC's March 14, 2023 special meeting in, uh, in favor of a proposed certificate amendments that would increase the number of authorized common shares 
from 524 million to 550, and the effect of 10 to 1 ratio, a reverse split with the common stock. Upon the effectuation of the certificate amendments, blah, 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 convert 10 to 1 uh, by, like, by diluting the common stockholder and granting Ontario and other eight pollsters a massive windfall. All right, Silverback, great job. Defendants made holders of common stock bear the entire burden of AMC's financial problems, financing problems. Uh, the anticipated conversion causes the price to H2 increase price of common stock to fall. Oh. Uh, 400 million dry powder shares to conduct final dilutive capitals raises without needing to seek stockholder approval. As the market saw how Ontario transactions and previously unexplained eight mirroring voting, powder made passage to the certificate of fair accompli. If you don't know what fair accompli is, it's a, a thing that has already been that's already happened or has been decided before those who affected hear about it, leaving them no option but to accept it. That's what that means. That's what that means. Um, plaintiffs explored how fiduciary duty claims might protect AMC common stockholders. Wow, it's a secure injection uh, likelihood, blah, blah, blah. Entire transaction was inequitable and that thwarting stockholder franchise rights constitutes irreparable harm. Amazing. The entire transaction smacked of improper vote buying to obviate the board's need to get common stockholders to support the certificate amendments. Adam Aaron squandering capital <laughs> on frivolous ventures such as gold mine investment. Oh my God. Oh, that's just incredible, guys. That's incredible. But hey, I guess we were uh, we were right though, huh? We were right. Let's keep going. Uh I think, uh, you know what? It's like fucking, how many pages is this? There's like a ton of pages. Let's see how much further I can go. Listen, I, I've read this once already. And let me give you the background. Let me give you what happened, right? This is the key point. AMC's board and senior manager forced through amendments to the company's certificate without majority support from common stockholders. That's us. Defendants use their legal power to issue a blank check preferred stock, massively diluting the common stockholders. They face financial challenges due to COVID-19. Not really. That's a falsity. They came because Adam Aaron was on a spending spree, buying every dilapidated theater, and that's why we got in debt. He's also the fireman, though, in this case. He's fireman and arsonist. Um, you know, they had to pay off about $5 million worth of remaining debt. In 2021, the uh, board failed to gain support for common stockholders' certificate amendments that would increase the number of authorized shares. So they devised a way with Citigroup, who was already short, and they had a huge number. The other ones that were saying it's going to go to a dollar. Well, they were right. I issued 10 million shares of preferred stock with 100, to 100 vote per share to override stockholder voting rights. The company manipulated the Apes Mirror voting power and bought votes from the hedge fund on Tower to force through certificate amendments. So they, 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 let me read that again. The company manipulated Ape Mirror voting power, right? and bought votes from the hedge fund on Tower to force through certificate amendments. The, uh, the proposed settlement offers class members the new share of common stock for every 7.5 shares that held through the reverse stock split for the conversion. The settlement consideration based on trading prices of March 3rd, 2023 is worth approximately $129 million. Bullshit. That is garbage. Absolute garbage, guys. There you go. That's basically what this thing about... If, it's all there. Everything we said was we were right on. We were right. We were right. And no one can take that away. Not a, a shithead on, on, on Twitter uh, talking crap. Uh, nobody, not even these lawyers. What's done is done. It's out there now. And you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. The, the, the plaintiffs, in this case, Allegheny had a bunch of evidence. They called it out. Uh, and now they're trying to scramble. Now, these guys just want to get it over with, go to the next case, right? They're they're you know, they're, they're churning out sales and whatnot. I don't know exactly how much these guys are getting uh, in terms of uh, fees. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look. Oh. For creating a pool of shares currently worth approximately $129 million, plaintiff's counsel seeks an award fee of expenses equal to $20 million. Wow! Whoa, twenty million dollars! Whoa, that's a little much there, uh, their lawyers. That's insane. <laughs> Are you really gonna just sit there and like just let this go? I mean, is that what's going on? Is that what we're doing? 
out of 20 million in expenses. That's insane, bro. That's quite, quite crazy. I'm doing this for free. I'm not getting shit. And I've been doing research for months. Oh my God. That's incredible. That's just incredible to me. Guys, uh, it's all there. It's all there. You know the rules. You know what it is. You know what needs to be done. Get your oppositions in there. Uh, if you need help, go to my uh, my YouTube channel. Go into the community tab and just scroll down just like two things and you'll see exactly what you need to do. Make sure it's in before the next 10 days, all right? Make sure it's in there before the next 10 days. Do the right thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see the opposition breaks. We'll do another video tonight uh, on live with Frank and we'll talk about it some more. I'm from Boston signing out. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you at the bell.